So we are finally moving from our apartment in Dubai Marina all the way out to Arjan and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to make this process as smooth as possible moving apartments in Dubai. So step one is actually finding somewhere to live and that is actually the easiest step. So we've spent the past few weeks looking at different apartment options all around Dubai and we finally settled on one. Now we did this by looking on Dubizzle, Beyut and also getting in contact with some of the real estate agents out here like Allsop and Allsop. You can check out some of the other apartments we viewed in the other video up here but eventually we settled on a final place that we're going to move to. We agreed a price and then we paid the 5% agency fee which is pretty standard and then we handed over our checks and our security deposit and we we're ready to move in. So tomorrow we have a proper moving team coming here to help us with all the big items like the sofa and the table and everything. But today I'm just tidying up some of my more delicate stuff like my cameras, most importantly, all of my shoes over here. <laughs> so first of all, let's get some tunes on. <laughs> Now I'm supposed to be packing, but I had this idea for a really cool shot while I was trying to do my shoes. So I've laid them all out behind me. I've set the GoPro up here to try and get a shot of me laying in between. So I've got the GoPro app on my phone. I don't know if you can see it. I should be packing right now. <laughs> We're about halfway through now, we're completely blitzed like all the cupboards, we're starting to take all the clothing out of all these clothes here, the bed's like a mess, but we're getting there. So after that your next step is sorting out your Ajari contract. Now the Ajari contract is basically a contract between you and the person that owns the apartment to state that you're going to be the tenant living in there. Now it only costs 200 dirham, but it can take a long time to get. We went to the Ajari centre in Albasha and waited two hours to be told that we were missing a number. Make sure you have the premises number on your tenancy contract. But the one you want to go to is the Al Lassis centre in DIP. It's quite a far way of a drive out, but you will save so much time. I know people that have waited in Albasha for three, four, five hours, whereas we went to the Alassis centre in DIP, which I'll leave a link in the description for, and we were out within 20 minutes with the contract in hand. Also, Ajari actually means my rent in Arabic, bit of trivia for you. And here's another tip, look at this. I have a load of empty boxes of my Canon camera kit, and I'm literally using clean wrap just to keep all these empty boxes together during transport. Tip three is to sort out your Diwa. So Diwa is the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. So they're the ones that provide you water and electricity. To create an account with them on their website, 2,000 deposit an apartment or 4,000 deposit for a villa. They actually have a really useful online chat. If you have any problems, you can drop them a message, but that's really important to sort before moving into a new place, because otherwise you have no water or light. But like us, we're moving apartments, so we have to choose a cutoff date for this one to stop and a start date for the next one to start. So we're actually doing them on the same day tomorrow. So we've made some really good progress. We've got most of the stuff all packed away in small boxes and the guys are coming tomorrow morning to help us at 8 a.m. At which point we're moving from here finally to Arjan. But first, it's time to go to sleep. Good morning. So step number four is sorting out your gas, your AC and your Wi-Fi. All of them need deposits. Wi-Fi is provided by the building, whether that's Du or Eti Salat. Gas is provided by the building. Sometimes that's like Luther gas or brother gas. And AC is part of the building. Sometimes that's included and it's chiller free, which is really good. Or you have to talk to the company and sort out your AC as well. Ours is nationwide and you need a 2K deposit. But in about 10 minutes, the movers will be here at the breakfast time. And all of those accounts can be transferred from one apartment to the new one if you're moving. So Step five is actually to get a moving in and a moving out permit. So each of your buildings, the one you're leaving and the one you're going to, you need permission from the building to move all of your stuff. You can just talk to the guy at the reception or the building management and they'll provide you a permit to say you can do it. Step number six is finding people like these guys from Network Movers who are going to help you move. They pack everything up, they bring all the material, and it was 950 dirham for a one bed, which is really helpful instead of having us pack all this stuff. They're doing an amazing job. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's moving day and also window cleaning day. These guys are like hanging off the side of the building. I couldn't do that. 
they help take down any curtain poles or any sort of small furniture that you've glued into the wall or whatever or screwed in which is really handy so it's been two and a half hours now and the guys have packed everything away and we're starting to load up and down the elevator with all of our stuff there's a lot that's the truck down there loading the stuff so when you move, you can block off the service lift so only we can use it to bring stuff up and down and it's all padded so you don't destroy the lift. And just like that, the apartment is empty and echoey and we are on our way to Arjan. Well, this is our last time in our parking spot. We're jumping into the gym there and we've got a little surprise guest in here. Hey girl, Milo the rabbit. She's not very happy today with all the moving. So we've made it to our new apartment where we're starting to unload the stuff and it's completely empty. I'm quite excited to start filling all these rooms. So this is our second bedroom. It's gonna end up as like an office. This is our room where we've just got our new custom bed, which is already here. Right, I'm gonna go and help the guys actually unpack and move stuff. Let's go. And part seven is getting the furniture to actually move into the place. So luckily we have a lot of the stuff already. A lot of it's from Ikea and Jisk. We've got like all the main stuff like the sofa and the table like you saw before. We've filled out the kitchen. As the sun's setting, we've done a pretty good job. The guys have left, we've started to sort of segregate into which room stuff is gonna go. Although this is quite a mess, this is gonna be like a working office, like studio type place. We're gonna get a big desk built. I'm gonna put my shoes up on the shelves again. Although they're all boxed. We've got overflow storage for some of our extra clothes and when people stay, we're gonna get a sofa bed. And then in here, Milo settled into a new home. Do you like it, Milo? No, okay. Now she's got her own room. We're gonna make this a bit smaller. This is probably a little bit excessive for the rabbit. <laughs> and then finally, we've got the bedroom, which is again, a bit of a mess, but we've got a custom made bed from a company in Arjan, which is just down the road. They built it to exact size of whatever you wanted. We got to choose the material and it was a really good experience actually. It was only 1,200 dirham for this fully custom bed and they deliver it and fully build it in the apartment. Leave a link for them in the description. It's Divine Furniture who built the uh, bed. But as the sun sets behind me in our new apartment in Arjan, we finally moved in. It was quite an operation, but hopefully those steps helped you work out a little bit more. The Dubai process of moving is pretty complicated. Anyway, I've made a full series about this whole moving process and looking at different apartments and all of that, which you can check out in the playlist in below. Up next is gonna be a full apartment. Well, no, oh. I've just knocked over everything. But anyway, up next is gonna be a full apartment tour once it's all finished and we get all our furnishing in so I can show you what a new two bed apartment in Arjan looks like. But apart from that, thank you guys for sticking around for this moving series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you back in Arjan next time. Boom. <laughs>